Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you some CMU Developer confirmed settings to help with performance in CMU Emulator. First, let's cover the NVIDIA side. Right click on your desktop and open NVIDIA Control Panel. Once you have NVIDIA Control Panel open, you need to come to this very first window and select Use the advanced 3D image settings that you can see right here. You need to make sure that this is ticked and turned on or you will not be able to use these settings fully. You want to navigate down to Manage 3D Settings and come across to Program Settings. Once in Program Settings, you need to come down here to this drop down list and select your CMU app. If your CMU app is not here, simply click Add and if it does not appear in this list, go to Browse right here and navigate on over to where you have CMU installed. Mine's on my desktop so let's select this EXE. You need to scroll down through this list and you need to turn on Threaded Optimization, set it to On, not to Auto On and Shader Cache needs to be turned on from the Global Setting On. You need to make sure that these settings are both set like this. Once you have these settings changed, you need to click Apply and you can now exit NVIDIA Inspector. For the AMD side, all you need to do is turn on this Shader Cache option right here. Once you have this option done, save and apply your settings and we are done with graphics settings. The next thing we want to do is hit the Windows key and S to bring up the search tab. Once this search tab is up, type in Power. You want to come to this Choose a Power Plan option. Once we are in here, you need to make sure that your PC or laptop is using its high performance power plan. However, even using this high performance power plan, there are some tweaks and changes we can do to make performance much better. You want to come in here and click change advanced power settings and scroll down until you see this option here, processor power management. You want to expand this window and make sure that when you come to minimum processor state, it is set at 100%. Mine has two options because I am currently on a laptop. When you come to maximum processor state, you also want this set to 100%. Changing both of these settings will make sure that your CPU stays at its maximum boost clock speed and will make your performance in CMU not only better, but it will also improve your performance in pretty much any application or game you will be using on your PC. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video and I do really hope it helps you out performance wise. Remember to like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.